The world's tough. We are training kids and people to be soft in a world that continuously gets harder. You have to build a person that can withstand the pressures of whatever they're going to be dealing with in life. And we don't do that. How many times in your life have you gone through something you thought you wasn't going to make it? What you have to do is to be steady in the storm. If you're steady, you're going to outlast it. If you're steady, you're going to outlive it. If you're not steady, it's only because you don't have the faith to believe that there's something on the other side of it. You better have a part about you that's tough, a part about you that can break down situations and get better. The devastation, the trauma is going to come, and you can't allow that to become a jersey barrier. It can't be a jersey barrier. It has to be something that you can maneuver through very quickly and move forward. That takes a lot of toughness. You got to shut off technology. Go to that dark place. I call it the dark room where you're alone. No cell phones, no music, no TVs, no computers. You by yourself. Very few people want to be alone anymore. They want to be around noise and people and they have to, you can't think. Shut life off for a little bit. Go to a dark place in your mind and figure out what the f you want to be. You don't know what you want to be because you haven't spent time, real time with yourself. Spend time with yourself. And once you find that passion and that purpose, your goals, your purpose, everything will just start lining up. And I'm wondering if there are things echoing in your head right now that are stopping you from living your best life because you will not silence them by speaking back. You shall have whatever you say. Discipline is your best friend. It will take care of you like nothing else can. And will put you on that path. The path to strength and health and intelligence and happiness. I don't care how good you are in anything. You don't have discipline. You ain't nobody. You're nothing without discipline. Because you give up on the slightest struggle without discipline. Discipline is doing what you hate to do, but do it like you love it. What if the truth is that changing your life is one away? One decision, one meeting, one conversation, one extra phone call, one extra rep in the gym. You start stacking up those one mores. That's the separator. In life, we don't get our goals. We get our standards. Don't be afraid to reinvent yourself and don't be afraid to be different, man. You ain't got to fit in the crowd. I tell my sons all the time, why are you following everybody when you were clearly meant to lead? People that don't have their own visions they become vision killers. They want nothing more than to talk you out of your own visions. They don't have dreams for themselves. They don't have any hopes. They're hopeless. They're uninspired, unmotivated. They have no dreams. They have nothing that they're ambitious about. I don't know what your future is, but if you're willing to take the harder way, the more complicated one, the one with more failures at first than successes, the one that has ultimately proven to have more meaning, more victory, more glory, then you will not regret it. Whatever you choose for a career path, remember the struggles along the way are only meant to shape you for your purpose. I hate Plan B. Every thought that you put into Plan B, you're taking away now that thought and that energy from Plan A. I've never ever had a Plan B. Lazy people do a little work and think they should be winning, but winners work as hard as possible and still worry if they're being lazy. The reason most people fail is because they give up what they want most for what they want now. But like I always say, life is 10% what happens to you, is 90% what you do about it. The first step is getting completely and brutally honest enough to say, I am tired of myself. When you say I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired, that's the facilitator of change. That's when you're ready to say these words, no more excuses.